Hello friends, welcome to Hello English. My name is Rupam. Today's video is all about Hope you got my point. This is a very serious issue. So today I'm here to help you guys. So please watch this video till the end. So before I start, let me share one incident with you. When I was working with a company called American Online, we went for an outing to a resort. There I met the resort owner. His name is Mr. Rana Sil, a young gentleman. He was very good in communication, but multiple times he stuck while speaking, forgot the words and don't know what to say. And ultimately, he started talking in Hindi. I'm sure there are many of you guys who are facing similar type of issue. So today, in this video, I will handle this very important topic. When you forget words, when you stuck while talking, how to handle this type of situations. So this video is all about how you think. So please make sure that you watch till the end because you will gain a lot of information. Also, if you are a book reader, if you love reading books, you can read this book. This book will help you to build confidence. You will get a lot of ideas, a lot of information from this book. The link of the book will be given in the description. And yes, before we go to the main part of the video, let me tell you, at the end of the video, I will ask you one question related to a movie. I will see if you can answer that or not. Done? So let's begin with today's video. I will explain to you with an example. We will take two characters. One is Miss Goldie and the other one is Mr. Berman. Both are good in English. First, let's take the case of Miss Goldie. Whenever she speaks and she stucks, she doesn't bother too much. She doesn't take it to heart. See, she takes it very lightly. She adjusts herself and she tries again. On the other hand, Mr. Berman, his approach is little different. Whenever he stucks, he gets nervous. He gets scared. And ultimately, he stops and starts talking in a local language. So see, both of them they come across the similar situations but one can handle the situation in a positive way the other one fail to handle that situation in a positive way so let's understand why this happens and I'm sure you will get some idea what to do so first we will take the example of Mr. Berman let's understand how Mr. Berman thinks that person who gets stuck and he gets nervous he stops and he start talking in a different language so whenever he stucks something happens in his mind and that is called a self talk he handles the situation in a different way in a negative way not like Miss Goldie he takes it very seriously. He thinks it is something major, a major issue. And that is a negative approach. He thinks that, oh my God, I am stuck. Words are not coming out of my mouth. I'm unable to think properly. Shit, what will happen? What people will think? I am sure they will think that I'm un uneducated. I'm illiterate. I'm poor in English. Others will think I'm not good in English. This is how Mr. Berman start thinking whenever he come across this type of situation. 
he feels horrible. Now, when he thinks this way, he feels the same way. Because how you think will make you feel the same way. Right? Whatever you think, that affects your feelings also. Remember. So when he thinks this way, automatically he will feel nervous, uncomfortable, anxious. And that will easily reflect in his face. People will notice and people will understand something has happened to him. And the same thing will show up in his behavior. See how your thinking affects your feelings and your behavior also. So how he will behave now? He will just look here and there. He will stop smiling. He will try to stop the conversation in between and run away. Or if possible, he will try to speak in a different language, a local language where he will feel much more comfortable. And finally, what will happen, you know? He will stop talking in English. This is all is happening with Mr. Berman. Now let's see how he makes the error, where he is making the mistake. English communication is all about mindset. So he thinks that I must speak English perfectly. I should not fumble. I should always have a smile in my face. I should not stuck. I should try and speak like a native English speaker. But if I get stuck, I'm sure people will think I'm uneducated, I'm illiterate, I have very little knowledge about English and I'm not good in conversation. So this type of thinking will not help. It may be Mr. Berman or it may be you, my dear friend. If you have this type of feeling, remember, this is not helping you. This is pulling you down. You will not learn. Remember, it is not how you handle that situation. Maybe you fumbled. Maybe you were unable to speak. That was an experience, remember. But what lesson you learned from that experience matters a lot. You should learn from those type of mistakes and make sure that you work on that. The biggest mistake which he, do, he is doing is he is taking the things personally. He is making it big. He keeps thinking the same thing the whole day which is affecting his daily life also. And he keeps feeling the nervousness and that nervousness makes him forget whatever he is thinking. So see, it's a chain reaction. When you are nervous, you will forget. And when you forget, you get nervous again. Right? Now let's see the case of Miss Goldie. How she thinks. Miss Goldie also stucks. But she takes the total experience in a different way. She thinks, that's okay. Maybe Today I have made a mistake. I will make sure next time I don't make the same mistake. So let me stay cool. She will think this way. She also thinks that oh, English is just a language. I should not take it so seriously. But yes, I should learn from the mistakes. And if I get stuck, it doesn't mean that I am un uneducated or I am illiterate or I am stupid. People may think that. But... Who cares about them? I am what I am. This is how your attitude should be. She has a different approach. And she do a very beautiful thing. Whenever she gets stuck, she will try to think the similar word, not that exact word. Maybe she will pick up some other word, but with the same meaning. Let me give you some example. It may help you. For example, you want to say, I am feeling hungry and you are not getting that sentence in your mind. You can say, it's been a while, my stomach is empty, I need to eat something. Or another sentence like, I am not feeling well. You can say, I think I need some rest. 
So this way, just think some alternate sentence or words and that will help you to overcome those type of situations. Give some pauses in between so that your mind gets the time to think. But remember, don't change the language, which Miss Goldie never do because she doesn't take it as a prestige issue. So my dear friends, you fall in which category, Mr. Berman or Miss Goldie? Comment and let me know. I want to know about you. Okay. So this is a very important issue which I have discussed with you today. Why it happens basically, you don't have a good control over English. You don't talk more. So how to overcome this problem is just by having conversation every day. If you don't have anyone, you can talk to yourself. I have made many videos in my channel about self-talk, how to improve your English, how to gain fluency. In the description, you will find the link. You can check it out. Now, I have one question for you. This scene is from the movie Tiger 3. And I want you to listen very carefully and tell me what exactly he is saying in your own words. Sir, trust me, this is our man. Okay, I will wait for your comment. And till the next video, thank you so much.